Fox News debated the Missouri Police Department that added In God We Trust on their cars. So let's watch and then we'll come back and I'll break it down. I would prefer that In God We Trust not be on our money, not be on government property. I think it is divisive. Julie, and I think it is offensive to atheists and to other people who may not believe in God. John, uh, she's I the know, minority. I know. She's I'm minority. absolutely the minority she is, she is here. The, she is the minority Do you here, disagree with what I'm well, saying? I, I disagree with what you're saying Why? because the I, I agree with the court. The, the yeah. phrase In God We Trust has become so passe. I don't think anybody looks at it on their cash. I don't think anybody Adam. feels offended when they use a dollar Julie bill. Julie does, apparently. I actually do. I've always <laughs> said crazy. that. I, I know that everybody disagrees with me on this i get it this is not uh, because about, and by the way it's okay. not because i hate god don't this? send me what crazy about, when you send sheriff. her hate mail take get, my twitter handle uh, off should the sheriff be concerned with people that have sensibilities like julie's um maybe and then the sheriff can give his officers the choice to put that sticker on the back of their car if they feel as strongly against it like julie does then don't put it on there no they're but saying the these majority, are government vehicles well though. the majority of the majority of Americans, 77% believe in some sort of God. The majority are Christians. You have 23%, this is according to Pew Research, they surveyed 35,000 people last year, 23% are atheist or agnostic, and the majority should win in this case. Also, if you don't believe in God, here's my thought, if you don't believe in God, why do you get so offended by the word God? Because you would think it was just... Well, first of all, let me start by saying I do believe in God. So, again, I don't want to hear it from everybody. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but you're but, ready to. But, but I'm ready to anyway. But I do want to say that it is because we protect the rights of the minority. And there are pla Listen, we have separation of church and state what in this country. What about the majority? Okay, I'm the so major tired of protecting the minority. What about the rest of the country? Great. 77%. Ainsley, Ainsley, put it on your car. I don't have a problem with you putting it on your car. I do have a big problem with government taking religion on in its public domain. But if the you? Supreme Court the same ruled, reason, if the Supreme yeah. Court ruled, I disagree with the, I disagree with the court. The same way I disagree with having a crush on on city hall property or anything else. Take it out of the public sphere. I like how a Fox News toast said, "Look, the Supreme Court ruled that way, so debate over." Interesting. So then the debate is over on Obamacare, right? The debate is over on gay marriage, right? I mean, the Supreme Court ruled debate over, right? Can I get you to sign on to that right now? Hmm. It's only when you agree with the Supreme Court that you say, Ah, debate over, everybody shut up, Supreme Court ruled. And also, somebody mark this down, first time ever in Fox News history and last time that you'll ever hear anybody say, the majority should be listened to on Fox News. But funny, they only care about <laughs> listening to the majority when it's a constitutional issue, it's a rights issue, and the majority should have nothing to fucking do with it. See, that's not a compelling argument because when you're talking about forcing your religion... Uh, via the government on other people, it doesn't matter if the majority wants to force Christianity, Buddhism, Islam, or any other religion down everybody's throat. The whole point of having a secular government is that the government is neutral on issues of religion. So you quoting to me that a majority of the American people are uh, Christian means absolutely nothing. It means no more to me than if you were to say in 1956, you quote a poll that shows the majority of the American people are still in favor of segregation. I'd say, I don't give a fuck what the majority of people are in favor of. This is a constitutional issue. So in other words, you don't have the right to vote on whether or not you can take away the rights of black people to be equal to you under the law. It's the same thing when it comes to you forcing your religion down our throats uh, via law. You don't. That's not a debatable issue. That's not something that is open to a vote. But again, still, mark it down because it's the first time and last time anybody on Fox will ever say the majority should be listened to. So, uh, let me respond to that further. So, you agree the majority should be listened to. Great. So, you want universal health care, right? You want a single-payer system. Recent poll found a majority of Americans want a single-payer system. You're in favor of that, right? You want to get out of all the wars overseas, right? A recent poll found that only 17% of the American people still want to be in Afghanistan. So, you want to end American empire, right? You said, listen to the majority, I'm saying this is what the majority believes. Over 80% of the American people want to raise the minimum wage, so you want to raise the minimum wage, right? You just said, listen to the majority, I'm telling you what the majority think. And also, by the way, let's be clear, these issues I'm uh, uh, citing here are not issues where it's a constitutional matter in question. These are issues where democracy should rule the day. But when democracy actually does matter and should matter, then they're like, oh, did I say listen to the majority? I meant, no, listen to me and fucking Rupert Murdoch and beluga whale uh, Roger Ailes who say whatever propaganda horseshit they want to say. And then, okay, let's, so let's go through more of the arguments here. They're saying, well, look, whatever, man. And so it says in God we trust on the cop cars. Get over it, atheist. <laughs> okay, so you're saying it doesn't matter if you put religious messages 
on our uh, public property, the cars, the cop cars. So what if a, a Muslim policeman decided to put submit to Sharia as a bumper sticker on their car? You wouldn't be in favor of that, would you? But when it's your religion or when it's just deism, so in God we trust, so a deistic God, they're like, well, that's good enough. No, it's, of course it's still not good enough. Of course it should say absolutely nothing. See, here's the thing. They view their rights as a right to take away your rights. Think about that. This is the same thing they do in the gay marriage debate, too, for example. They say, we have a right to take away the rights of gays, but you don't have that right. See, secular government, by definition, is neutral on the issue of religion. So it's hands off. Uh, so we don't needlessly inhibit religion, nor do we promote religion. We're just hands off on the issue of religion. So, in other words, the reason they do that is because it's all-inclusive. So, it, it, you're not, you know, putting down Christians, you're not putting down Muslims, you're not putting down Buddhists, you're not saying, hey, you can't be those things, but you are saying if one of you, if any one of these groups wants to, you know, come to the government and try to force that via law, you're not allowed to do that. Well, that's exactly what's happening here with In God We Trust. First of all, we all know they mean Christianity, but second of all, even if you just say, hey, it's deism, that's still incorrect because that's still violate secular government. Because if we're talking about a truly secular government, what the fuck would the police car say when it comes to the issue of religion or God? Nothing! It would say nothing! And if it says nothing, you're not being discriminatory or fucked up to Christians or Muslims or Buddhists or anybody else. You're just being neutral. You're saying we're not involved in the issue of religion. But again, they think they have a right to take away your rights. They have a right to shove their beliefs down your throat. But if, they, if you want to go down that path, we'll go down that path. So some state governments have said on public property at their capitals, we're allowing the Ten Commandments. But what does the Supreme Court said? They go, okay, well, if you allow the Ten Commandments, well, then you also have to allow any other religious symbology from any other religion. So what are they doing now? Story in the news recently. In Detroit, they unveiled a statue of Baphomet, the demon. So, okay, you want to play this game? You want to say, oh, Ten Commandments, in God we trust, this, that, put this everywhere. All right, then look, it's only fair. You know, you should have people from other religions say, bumper sticker, you must read the Bhagavad Gita. I can't wait to see that bumper sticker. Submit to Sharia. Richard Dawkins is fucking awesome. You want, let, let's open this door. You want to open this door? Let's just tag up, like, fucking NASCAR. Tag up all the police cars with everybody's ideology. I mean, that, it, those are the two options. Either keep it out of religion completely, in, in no way, shape, or form does the government property promote religion, or if you're going to open the door to allow one group to have their message, you got to allow everybody to have their message. So my point to, to everybody involved in this debate is say, okay, look, you want to open that door? We'll open that door. Any cop car that says, in God we trust, we're all going to go tomorrow and, and put a sticker on it that says, hail Satan, along with it. And you have no grounds on which to say you can't put that, but we can put ours.